we just got like so profoundly lucky with the house of heaven built where it's just right at the tippy top of his range and he can just barely hit it. That was like one of the last overdubs we did. Oh, uh, we tried like, you know, slowing it down to do it. We tried like lowering the pitch, like it's right on the cusp of it. And, and uh, we tried recording it so many different ways just to get it to feel as a bright and anthemic and exciting as possible. It's actually like an old, uh, it's a Daniel Lanois trick that uh, he's a Canadian producer who produced uh, like U2, uh, U2's biggest records. Like I'm pretty sure he did the Joshua Tree. And uh, that was uh, like one of the tricks was like adjust the song's pitch to be as high as it could possibly be, but not too high. So that way Bono is always soaring, you know. And uh, although like, you know, I don't know if Japan roads are quite as soaring as U2 gets, um, you know, they're soaring in a fast, more <laughs> bombastic way. There's a certain emotional factor that you can only get, I think, when you're, when it sounds like he's actually like struggling to hit those notes, you know. There's something about that that really brings out this like desperation and, and like it, it really helps that feeling of like urgency really come out, you know? So to some extent that was like sheer dumb luck and that's just where we, the song was written. But I think there was also this element of like, no, like you can hit those notes. It's going to be a struggle, but like you can hit those notes. And when you do, it's going to be really special, you know, uh, made it a bitch to play on live though, for sure. Cause uh, you know, it's hard for him to hit those notes night after night. <laughs>